Hello and welcome to College Algebra, summer of 2020. And so I'm starting here in D2L. I'm going to show you how to access all the resources and get started. So here's our course. So when you log into D2L, you'll see a similar icon for the course. And so I'm going to go ahead and open that up. So here, the, when you first log in, there'll be an announcement page, and I'll send out announcements from time to time. And that's actually where I'm going to put the link to this video for y'all to see. So we'll go ahead and go to content right here. And so I only have two tabs here. And so I have one for syllabus, calendar, and MML. Now that stands for My Math Lab. That's where you're going to complete all your homework, and I'll go through that in a moment. And then the second tab here is for notes and video link. And so I'll go through that also. So we'll just go through everything in order. So first things first, we'll go ahead and take a look at the syllabus. So here's my syllabus. So I'm Professor Algio. Okay. Here's my office phone number. I won't be in the office due to the coronavirus, but the best way to contact me is through the email address right here. You can also contact me through the D2L email, but you'll probably get a quicker response if you go through this email address right here, okay? All right, so office hours. I'm going to be available most days if you want to meet up on WebEx. You just have to request. So. Please don't hesitate. I don't want to have specific time frames because I know everybody might be on a different schedule. So all you have to do is ask and we can meet up and I can try to answer any questions you have. Also, a lot of times students will just send me snapshots of questions they have and I can make a video and get it back to you. I try to get that back within 24 hours or sooner um, to help you out that way also. Okay, so materials for this course. Okay, the only thing that you're really required is to have access, access to my math lab. And I'm gonna go through how to set that up in a moment. But here is the course ID that you would uh, register for. And you can actually get a 14 day free trial if you wanna do that to make sure everything's right for you before you pay the money for the full subscription. There's a couple of different ways you can get your subscription. Um, typically, you could go to the bookstore, but right now that's not available, um, to my knowledge. I know they're going to start trying to do a program where you can order and pick up, and so you might want to call them and see if you can get some details on that. Uh, you can also just buy it directly uh, from the website, and so that will be up to you how you want to take care of that. I know that if you're on financial aid, that might be a little tricky for you. You might have to go through the bookstore. The book we're using is the seventh uh, edition by Blitzer. Okay, you do not need a hard copy of it. When you have the access to my math lab, you'll get a digital copy that comes with it. Plus, I'll supply most of the notes you need. So we're kind of more or less using the book for the homework. As far as calculators, you really you don't need to buy anything fancy. I would probably just get a little 10 to $15 scientific calculator. Um, also, TI, uh, Texas Instruments, they're, they're giving free, or well, they're giving six months uh, free to students. So if you follow this link, um, let me see, I'll go ahead and click on it. Maybe not. Okay, so I opened the link over here. So if you look over here, here's the TI-30X. Um, That's all you need. Um, you could get the graphing one if you really want, but this is really all you're going to need for this course. And so depending on if it's Windows or Macintosh, so let's see, this is a Windows computer. So when I click on it, it'll walk me through. And so you can download it. And once you download it, you just agree to the... There's a couple of different trials. Some of them are 60 days, but if you're a student, and I think if you can prove it, then they'll even give you up to 180 days. But our class is only, only about 40 days or so, so the 60-day trial should be plenty. 
Okay. Here are the objectives and outcomes. I'm not going to read through them, but you can if you'd like to. Okay. Here's probably the most important thing. How am I going to be assessed? Okay. So you have to have my math lab access or else you just, you won't be able to even complete the course. So 15% of your grade will be, um, will be from the homework that's going to be in my math lab. And I will walk you through that in a moment. Uh, we're going to have four regular exams throughout the semester. Exam questions will be taken from the practice sets and also the video lectures. Due to the coronavirus, no testing centers are open. Typically, in an online course, you have to go in to a testing center and take a proctored exam. Therefore, exams were going to be taken in my math lab. You will be given an hour and 20 minutes to complete each exam. You are permitted to use your notes on the exam, but please refrain from using other resources. Okay, if you decide not to and you decide to use other resources besides your notes, you're gonna you're really just gonna cause yourself problems in the future when you take other courses when you are gonna be taking proctored exams. So, you know, please please take advantage of using your notes, but please do not go beyond that. Okay, final exam, that will be done in my math lab also. And you'll be given an hour and 15 minutes for that one. And then the grade breakdown should look pretty familiar for A, B, C, D. Uh, typically, if you make a D, that's, that's not going to transfer. Typically, the college will make you repeat the course. So really, we're shooting for an A, B, or C. Okay, students, you may be dropped if you score a zero on two or more exams. There's not really coming back from that. Uh, if you get a zero on two exams, that'd be very I, mathematically almost impossible to recover from that. The other big thing is my math lab access. Some students, they do the 14 day trial, which is good, but then they never pay for the full subscription and then you end up getting behind in the course. So if you don't have full access within the first two weeks, you may be dropped. Behavior, well, this is online course. Just make sure you use proper etiquette. Whenever we send emails, just be careful. Um, some, sometimes when you word stuff, it might come off the wrong way. So just, just be careful. It's not a big deal. Uh, course withdrawal, if you do decide that's in your best interest to withdraw from the course, the last day to do that will be June 23rd. Okay, here's just some information about our division counselor, Rhonda Cannon. Um, she would be a good person to get in contact with if you have questions about transferring or what courses are in your degree plan and so on. Here are some of the links to Lone Star College uh, syllabus policies. So I'll let you go over those on your own. And then here's a link to our math resources right here. Um, the one thing I will address real quick on the Lone Star policies, if you have any accommodations like extended time for exams or something like that, make sure you get me that proper paperwork so I can make sure to honor that. And then the last thing at the very bottom here, there's a link. This is the, the Mac Center is typically uh, a place you would go in person um, on campus to get some assistance. And so what the, the te uh, what the tutors are doing now is they're logging in virtually. And if you go to this link, you'll see the times that they're available and you can basically join their room and ask questions and get some tutoring there. Okay, so now I was going to take a look at my math lab, but apparently something is going on right here. So I'll make a separate video for that a little bit later. So going back to D2L. So uh, here is the suggested pacing calendar. So you don't have to go at exactly this pace. Now, the exam dates will be firm. And so let me pull this up and we can take a look at this. But this might be a good idea. Like if I was teaching this in person on campus, this is about the pace I would go. And we'd be meeting Monday through Thursday. 
So if you, like I said, you don't have to go exactly at this pace, but um, you the, the exam dates that are highlighted, those are firm. So unit one exam would have to be taken between the 8th and the 10th, somewhere between those three days. So that's plenty of time for you to take the exam in my math lab, okay? Um, so like I said, the, oh, um, all the homework assignments that are for the unit will be due on the on the ninth. Okay, so uh, wherever I put the exam, that's that unit homework will be due on that day. So like unit two, all those assignments for unit two will be due on the seventeenth. Now you can take the exam on the sixteenth, seventeenth, or eighteenth. Okay, but all the unit homework will be due on that day right there that's highlighted. Okay, and so you can see. Oops. A little typo right there that should be unit four exam at the very bottom but that's okay i'll fix that um and then we do have a holiday for fourth of july so i went ahead and put that in my calendar like i said obviously you can work on the weekends or whatever days you want um but this is i just kind of put this together like how i would if we were on campus uh so after the fourth exam right here sorry a little typo um on that Monday, I have to cover a short topic on matrices. It's not a very long topic. It's well, it can be, but it's just a short introduction to matrices and systems of equations. And then your final exam, the last day you can take that is July 7th. And so it will be available on the 6th if you'd like, or you can take it on the 7th if you want. And that'll be the last day of the semester. So next we'll look at, okay, how do I find the lectures, the, the notes and the videos? So I'm going to take you there. So right here, if you click on notes and video link, the link you got to click on that and then the link's inside here. So now I'll go ahead and click on that. And it should open up a new page. So there we go. It opens up this new page right here. So College Algebra Online Resources, okay? And so I, I use this format, it's just a little bit easier for me to upload everything. And so I like to use these Google sites. So if you click on unit one, here we go. So I don't have a lot in unit one yet, but I'll, I'll be adding stuff each day. The other units are actually full. And the reason why is because that's due to last semester when we had to move everything online. And so, you know, everything kind of happened pretty quickly. So I'll be going through and updating some of these videos and trying to improve upon what's already there. Uh, so unit one, we hadn't had to move online yet, so I'm kind of adding that as we go. Most of the videos will be me. Some of them might be other instructors. We're kind of putting this together uh, as a team, okay? So what I have so far is I have a copy of the outline notes. So if you click on that, you'll get a PDF copy of the outline notes, let's see if they pop up. Uh, you, you don't have to print them, but a lot of times students like to have those. Let's see, here we go, okay. So here it is, so it pops up here. And so if you want to print it out, you can. Probably especially when we start to graph. This first unit doesn't have any graphing, it's all about solving equations. And so if you don't want to print this out, that's fine. If you do and you want to follow along in the videos, that's great. Um, so it's there if you want. Here are the videos I've made so far. I try to make the videos, I, I try to make them around 20 minutes. Sometimes they're longer, sometimes they're shorter. This first one was kind of long. I want to say it was like 35 minutes. I try not to make them that long. Just so you, you know, after a certain amount of time, you kind of start zoning out. I get it. So I try to make the videos about 20, 25 minutes. This one, first one was a little long. Anyways, here's one of the videos, um, and so obviously it goes with the notes that are there, the outline notes, and then the homework that you'll complete in my math lab should be identical to what you're seeing here. All the examples should look very similar in your homework. So that Google document, the link I went to, you might want to bookmark that in your browser just so you can have that available, and like I said, I'll be updating it almost on a daily basis, adding more videos or updating some of the videos that are already on there. Um, so what I'll do is once the My Math Lab gets back up, it might just, every once in a while it will go down, not very often, but if it does go down, typically it's back up within an hour. 
And so I'll make a short little tutorial video on how to access that and use all those tools for your homework and stuff. Um, so anyways, if you have any questions or concerns, you know, don't hesitate to send me an email or, you know, request to meet up on WebEx. Um, all right.